Sour Patch Kids. Oh. Now, Sour Patch Kids. Hey, what's up, dorks? Welcome back to a new video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm sorry I've been dead for so long. It's just that I really hate my life. Nah, I'm just kidding. I've just been mostly working in school. Uh, how you guys been? Haha. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys have been good. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about cereals. Cereals, you may ask. What's so interesting about cereals, my guy? I hate cereal. It's not the most important meal today. It's just pr communist propaganda. Now, um, this is just not your ordinary uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Those are pretty good. That's a five out of five, in my opinion. But we're talking about food cereal. Well, when I say food cereal, I actually mean like pop tarts and sour and things that were originally food and they're like you know what i want to eat this in milk i want to eat this shit in milk it's probably good so without further ado let's jump into our cereal presentation shall we all right so a little context before i actually eat it because i know i kind of bum rushed it uh so with the cereal i was actually at the 99 cent store and i was just browsing around cheap food you know i just wanted something cheap to eat something tasty something good and sooner or later, I just came across these bad boys, and I was like, ooh-wee. So I realized, what else did they make into food? You know what I'm saying? Like, if they made Sour Patch in the, in the cereal that came from a food, what else are they going to turn into a cereal? And I figured, well, duh, Pop-Tarts, duh. You, you think, you stick it in milk, and it's like, oh, that should be good, right? Pop-Tarts were made for milk, right? And uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be good. But let's, just, let's find out, and then let's rate it. Yummy. Boom! Hey, welcome back. Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so let's get to our cereals, shall we? Now, the first one I want to introduce is uh, Pop-Tarts uh, cereal. Literally just the name, Pop-Tart cereal. They, they just, they don't give a fuck. Anyways, these are the frosted strawberry kinds. And I know what you're thinking. It looks like the new Xbox One X or the new Xbox Series X. And to that I say, I want this, I want this on the Xbox. Uh, 150 calories, dude. Sign me up for serving. Heck yeah, dude. Tastes pretty good. Uh, they, I didn't find one in the single variety. It actually comes with two packs. And the one thing to note is that um, I found it at the 99 cents for, for like one one ninety nine. So uh, if y'all ghetto and y'all need some, some cheap food, you know, recommend. Next up, we got ourselves our own little uh, donuts. Donuts. Powdered mini donuts, dude. Like, like when you look at this, you're like... Why would someone want to eat this milk? Actually, that's kind of smart. You eat like little donuts, you dunk them in coffee and the milk, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. However, I, I don't know why you would want to make it into a little cereal, you know what I'm saying? Are they even powdered? I don't even think they're like powdered. No, it says powdered mini donuts. I don't think they're all powdered though, they can't be. I mean, uh, we'll find out, right? Anyways, last but not least. Ooh. <laughs> We got a we got an abomination here. <laughs> it's the, the the Sour Patch Kids, dude. The cereal. Oh man, dude. Who? I want to know the sick fuck who went. You know what? These are kind of good, but you know what would make them better? If we dunk them in milk. Man, someone's really going places. You know what I'm saying? We're we we're moving. I don't want to say we're moving a step forward, but that's a step backwards. Two steps backwards, in my opinion. Uh, with society. Oh, but they have a little, uh, mad lid in the back. Look at that. Uh, name an adjective. Poopy face. Alright, let's move on to eating them now. This should be pretty good. This one should be a long one. Hopefully this doesn't kill my phone, though. I'm a little worried. So, first one we should eat is Sour Patch Kids. Now, now Sour Patch Kids, I'm really, like, tempted to eat, honestly. Because, like, I really do like Sour Patch. But I don't know how it's going to taste like in milk. But the funny thing is I'm not going to eat it in milk. I'm just going to eat it individually in a bowl, and I'm going to find out if it tastes good or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh, that looks really weird. Like They look like little dildos, if anything. I don't know if you can see that, but they just they just look like dildos, honestly. All right. Oh, it actually kind of smells pretty fruity. It tastes like, um, it tastes like, not taste, it smells like, uh, I can't remember, Fruit Loops, there you go. So it's kind of like that fruity flavor when you like take it out of the box. Oh, what the fuck! I did not expect that. They were like, 
they smell so fruity, but when you put it in your mouth, it instantly hits you with sour. What the? I'm like, hmm, what the? It's not that bad, though. It actually tastes kind of good. But it's just weird. Like, first, like, as soon as, like, you put it in your mouth, you're just like, what the frick, dude? I, I can get used to it. But I don't know. That first couple hits was like something else. You know what I'm saying? Something else, dude. Can you see it? Nope. Wow. Kind of good. Fruity but sour. So with that being said, I think um, Sour Patch Kids get them. Um, not the best thing. I'll give it a 2 out of 5. It's pretty all right. Just the first time it throws you off, I'd say that's pretty like, it's it's a whole new world. I can show you the world. Shining, shivering, help me. All right, let's move on to the next one. That's a uh, two out of five. So that was interesting. Um, anyways, let's move on to another one before I, I, I don't know. That was really weird. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, so on to the next one. We have the Donets, the, the Donettis, the, Don, the Rossetti Bonettis. Uh, yeah, one ninety nine. You can't go wrong with it, you know. Your kids are like, hey, I want to eat some powdered donuts but in milk. You're like, listen here, you little shit. I work a nine-to-five job every single day for you, and the government doesn't give me shit. Oh. They smell like powderiness from, like, the actual donuts they sell to host these donuts. So maybe it'll be good. Maybe. Just maybe. All right. So coming out of the box, they immediately look like Fruit Loops. I don't know why everything else is like Fruit Loops here, but it's going to be Fruit Loops. Ooh. They do have some powder to it. You can taste it, but they're not. it's not coming out. <laughs> it tastes like Fruit Loops, but just with powder. Boring, dude. Hmm. I am starting to taste a little more powder, though. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it into the camera more. But, yeah, it's just powdery. But it tastes like Fruit Loops, but not fruity. So, they just taste like loops. They look. They taste literally like cereal loops with sugar and some powderness. But it doesn't really taste like the donuts, per se. With that, I would probably give it maybe like a... Yeah, I'd give it a 2 out of 5. No, i give this one a 1 out of 5. It just kind of fails my expectations... But I would like to give it a 2 out of 5 just because it's really cheap. But then again, if something's cheap, you shouldn't really be eating it. You know what I'm saying? But who cares? Whatever. I don't care. 9 to 5 job. Get it? All right. We're here with the last one. Now, the last one is the one I really wanted to open up because I was really curious when I first saw it. <sighs> Sorry. I got burps. Anyways, this is the one I was really intrigued in getting. Just because of the fact that I love Pop-Tarts, dude. I absolutely love the motherfucking things. All right, so let's see what we got here. So I wasn't kidding when they said we had two bags. So they look more like those uh, Wheaties. They look like Wheaties, dude. Like the little uh, cube looking things that, that your mom says are really good for you, but they're not. They taste like crap and they're really sugary. So like, what's the point? Actually, they're not that bad though. They're pretty good, but I'm just joking on them. So anyway. Ooh, it smells like strawberry, dude. It smells like the strawberry from the from the Pop Tarts. I'm actually really intrigued now. All right, let me pour it in there real quick. Pour that shit nice and good in there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, sorry. Um, jump cut. Not really though. Uh, my camera died like usual. I freaking hate you. Anyways, uh, let's get back to it. Now these Pop Tart little bad boys, dude. Uh, I think they're pretty good. They look pretty good. They smell pretty good. They smell like strawberries. So if that the intended purpose is to smell and kind of look like a pop tart, it kind of passes. It's uh, it's redeemable. So let's see if the taste is pretty good though. That's the important part. Hmm, kind of tastes like I bit into a pop tart. Kind of, but not really. Like. Doesn't taste like the bread usually, but the little pieces in there, like the little green and little red pieces, like on the regular Pop-Tart, they're still on there. 
And if you really think about it, like if you close your eyes, you could probably mistake it for Pop Park. Not really though, but uh, you could be retarded. Hmm. So the inside's got like some strawberry in it. So that's pretty good. So that's kind of what gives it the Pop Tart esque flavor. Now I'm pretty sure if you probably dunk it in milk and probably just like let it simmer and let it soggy up. I'm pretty sure the milk would taste like Pop Tart. <clears throat> And then once you bite into a strawberry, hoo wee. And then it's actually a, straw, a pop tart. So for the outside, I would say it's mainly tastes like the bread, the bread part of the pop tart, and some of the little like uh, coating on top. But then when you bite inside the strawberry, then you got yourself a pop tart. Look, watch me go, mom. Look, look, watch me go. Whoa, 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 whoa! How am I doing that, dude? How am I freaking doing that? Whoa, I'm pretty cool. Check this out. I did it. I did it. I actually did it. Now, for the rating. Now, due to the fact that I, this is like the one that resembles the most of the food it's trying to represent. So, for that, I would probably give it. I want to give it a 3 out of 5. But I really think it probably just stays a 2 out of 5. Cause it tastes like it, it looks like it, well it doesn't look like it, but it mainly tastes like it. <laughs> and with that being said, the consistency and the overall quality of it, it's pretty good. No, so I give it a 2 out of 5. It's alright. And if you're broke and can't afford Pop-Tarts, you know, Pop-Tarts, Pop-Tart in milk, small Pop-Tart, yes. I'll take two, like the box, I'll take two bags. Dunk it in milk. But, but, but don't be a degenerate and put in the milk first and then the cereal. Because I freaking hate you. The only reason you would put milk first is if the cereal was already in there from the past. Come on. Wait. I said the meme wrong. Anyways, guys. Um, that was it. I hope you guys liked my uh, food that shouldn't have been turned into cereal but is cereal review. Um... It's pretty fun. It tastes pretty good. Did miss you guys. Um, once I'm done editing this video, it's going to go on YouTube and uh, you probably won't see me for another three months. But that's okay. Because uh, if, if you don't, I want to wish you guys a merry 2020, dude. Uh, new 20s. Let's go, dude. Um, it's going to be lit. Uh, I want to bless you guys with uh, <clears throat> many memories and music and, and turning up. Hopefully, um, we get our energy back and start living again. Like we used to back in the day. And uh, peace.